What's up everyone, Stoman here. Welcome to another episode of Stoman Angels NFT World. I hope everyone is doing well. I know I'm loving the feel of the new show. And it's all thanks to my good friend, Rick Wiesenar from the Netherlands for giving me some amazing suggestions of how I can punch up my show. So Rick, if you're watching this, thank you so much. I truly appreciate your suggestions. Don't forget to comment below if you like these new changes we've made. I'd really love to hear your feedback. So today we're gonna to start things off a little differently. Today we're going to start off with a segment I like to call How To. My good friend David from Elusive Illusions reveals how he creates his amazing artwork. So for starters, let's check out some of his pieces. work amazing? David says his photography is from the quantum realm. He uses the abundance of neon light from the streets of Japan to create his compositions. I'm dying to see that in action. Well, with that said, let's go to the streets of Japan where David's located and check out how he actually does it. Good evening, everyone. Hope you all are well. I'm actually uh, sitting down at the request of a number of you to uh, make a video of how I go about creating my images. I'm actually sitting on the sidewalk. So hopefully while I'm making this video, no one's gonna stop and ask if I'm okay or if I'm drunk or, or whatever. Um, I'm actually right here at a busy intersection. So cars will drive by and, and maybe I'll get ambient light from their headlights or tail lights or brake lights, turn signals, whatever. <laughs> I'll take whatever ambient light I get. And actually right across the street, this is a new location for me. This is a nice pink neon and it's shining all the way over here. I pour some water on the manhole cover and uh, then this is what I get on my viewfinder. So if, if I shoot it's out of focus okay uh yeah that's not too bad but yeah if i pour water on it then of course it will make the uh the colors much stronger there we go and uh yeah so i, I just kind of sit here and wait for a car to drive by to uh lend its ambient light and snap the pictures so that's a brief explanation hope it um, satisfies your curiosity if you have any other questions feel free to message me all right stay safe take care see you it's very cold here by the way <laughs> bye bye pretty sweet that's pretty crazy how a procedure so simple can create something so magical. Love your work, David. Keep up the amazing job. All right, so now for the main event. Let's go out there and see what kind of amazing pieces we can find. Now remember, this is not financial advice. These are just some amazing pieces of art we're showcasing from around the world. Let's get started. <music> Hello and welcome everyone. Before we get started, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. If you'd like to view more pieces from the artists or contact them, their links are in the description below. Now let's get started. First up, Ali. As you can see, he designs a background on OpenSea which represents a newborn egg that just stepped into the world. It has a path ahead and its life. There are so many things happening on this path like global warming, war, pollution, and so many other things that it'll experience until it gets to the last step of its path. And all the things it has experienced will be shown on its shell. Love this collection. Keep up the great work. 
Crypt No Neck. His name is Gary. He's from Oregon. He's been in recovery from drugs and alcohol almost two years now. He feels like there needs to be more treatment centers and housing for people who battle this disease that so much of the world overlooks. His NFTs are forbidden and he doesn't want to set a price. It's more of a donation, so anything helps. He would love to become a staple in the recovery community one day and just keep helping more people get their lives back on track. What an amazing project. Keep up the great work. Daily Madness. His NFTs are basically photographs of his travels and they are converted into paintings. And he uses his ideologies to resemble on sketch. There are a few that he drew on his own. Great piece, keep up the great work. Don Antonio. The history of Odysseus resembles his and that of all of us in many ways. He sailed lost for 10 years and faced various obstacles to get home. Monsters, storms, sorceresses, mermaids, temptations, mistrust, insecurities. What's your strength? How long have you been fighting to get back home? Achieve your goals. How many obstacles have you overcome? Odysseus was also curious and tied himself to the ship to hear the siren song and not throw himself into the sea. This work portrays this episode. It resembles us when we start something new. It can be dangerous and uncomfortable, but we tie ourselves to our ship and fight. Amazing piece. Keep up the great work. Donald. The super fat Apes is a collection of 8,888 brainless primates existing in a parallel universe. In this version of Earth, obesity is praised and laziness encouraged, with an education system much more flawed than our own. Each one different from the rest with their qualities. But above all, they're not the smartest. They unite together to protect our world, although they haven't been the greatest help so far. Four of them have made a name for themselves by working together. Tony Narcoleptic, the sleepiest primate of them all. He can barely drag himself out of bed to get to his missions. I think I saw him fall asleep during a fight once. Why is Super Fat Apes different from the other projects? Unique artists collaborations. The importance given to each design detail. The amount of benefits. Discord economy and tokenomics. Many free airdrops. And lastly, second collection airdrops. This is a great project. Keep up the great work. Fisheye. If you want to immerse yourself in a unique one-of-one -one art and be able to fly over the horizon and become a member of the Dream family, this artwork is for you. A 3D mutant rabbit who, in spite of himself, fell into a radioactive potion which made him an exotic mutant rabbit. Very cool, please. Keep up the great work. Freaked Out Piggies. Freaked Out Piggies is building the mental health diagnosis and improvement club in the metaverse. In this club, the army diagnoses humans' mental health issues using technology, monitoring, and gives solutions like exercises, games, education, and expert help for them. Love this project. Keep up the great work. Handmaiden NFT. She sells her handmade pieces to order items online. Since she has her passions in various kinds of art and crafts like painting, digital art, and 3D art made of porcelain, clay, upcycling old stuff, poetry, and several others, she decided to try NFTs just to try her luck. She'll be launching her Rune NFT collection soon and several artwork, photography, and painting digital paintings. She's just an independent NFT artist. Love this piece. Keep up the great work. Ivan Kozlov. He's a 19-year-old photographer from Russia. He's been taking photos since he was 13. Since 2019, he has started to upload his work on the internet. Every year, life in Russia becomes more and more difficult. Inner economics is really messed up. Dairy products and most of the goods are becoming more and more expensive without any salary promotions. Most of the problems are caused by a horrible government. Well, your work is still great. Keep up the great job. Narcolepsy Art. A narcoleptic creating digital art from the dreams and nightmares he sees every time he sleeps. Love this piece. Keep up the amazing job. NFT Farmoon. Farmoon is composed of Farnoon and Hamoon. The aim of this two-person group is to produce audiovisual content. 
with Hamun's audio part and Farnoon in charge of the image part. Their work name is Revolution. They put it on OpenSea. Love this piece. Can't wait to see what you do next. NFT's JP Batra. Eagles are generally larger than other birds of prey. They have strong muscular legs, powerful talons, and large hook beaks that enable them to rip flesh from their prey. Great piece. Keep up the amazing job. NFT's 3D XXL. He's a new artist from Sarajevo, and he started digital art four months ago. He created the ball collection of 99 pieces. Love this piece. Keep up the amazing job. Pixel Art Cocktail Bar NFT. They opened the world's first NFT bar, and soon they will post exclusive recipes that only buyers can see. Very cool piece. Keep up the great job. Pixelated Heart Club. The Pixelated Heart Club is a collection of multiple unique pixelated hearts. Owning a pixelated heart will give you access to amazing clothing pieces in the future. Love this collection. Keep up the amazing job. PocketRockets.art The Pocket Rockets are a unique collection of 7,777 cosmic NFTs inspired by the leading web 3.0 infrastructure provider, Pocket Network, and created for the Pocket community. Each piece is a unique 3D artwork with a collection of more than 150 traits. The objective is to further strengthen the community around the exciting Pocket Network project. Owning a rocket establishes your membership of the community. Displaying your rocket brings outside awareness to the pocket network. Your rocket also entitles you to a chance to receive monthly pocket airdrops, as well as enters you in a draw for various tokens and NFT prizes. Very cool project. Can't wait to see where it goes. Prickly Pals. Prickly Pals is a unique NFT collection of 555 stingy yet friendly randomly generated cactus beings living happily on the Solana blockchain. Great work. Can't wait to see what you do next. Sen Axia. Several characters with different moods but with pale faces. Fruit of the inspiration of the young programmer and 17 year old student. Love how simple this collection is. Keep up the great work. The face. It's called doing it all. It represents the weight and struggle women carry in this world every day. Love this piece. So simple yet effective. Keep up the great work. Titan 39. There are days when fragments of something are lost. A piece of truth, a part of reality, a part of ourselves. Love this piece. Keep up the great work. Well, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching the whole way through. If you liked the video, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to our channel. Again, a huge thanks to my good friends, Rick Wiesenar and David from Elusive Illusions, and all the submissions from all the artists for making this episode so special. We'll see you next week. Until then, keep on creating.